welcome back if you made it this far congratulations this is probably the uh most ambitious one that we'll take on and uh, really you'll probably find like it's not that uh not too tough once we sort of break down the big ideas and that is building sort of this app layout that's so common uh, on a mobile phone with Flexbox. Now I think this is super important because when you're on a phone you are constrained by the height or the width of the phone and you need to be able to have something that uh, you can just manage the height of the the application. So what I've gone is ahead is I've built this little app that we have here and you can see like when you resize it vertically because all phones can uh, be different sizes. Same with horizontally, actually. If you resize it vertically and horizontally, it will just kind of react to go ahead with it. And I have no media queries in here, no floats, no widths, no heights, none of that stuff. Uh, it's all using Flexbox. So uh, I think this is a really popular, uh, I think this is gonna be really big for Flexbox to, to be building this kind of thing. In fact, if you've heard of React Native, uh, React Native is this uh, framework where you can write uh, apps in JavaScript and it gets compiled into Native. And uh, the way that they handle their layouts is with Flexbox. So uh, it's kind of important to, to know this stuff. So let's get started. This is exactly what we're building. we got things on the left, things on the right, things that are centered. Uh, we've got all these buttons that are the same amount. And then we've got this content area that's just going to take up the rest of the room. Uh, after we, we take room for the header in the icon bar there. So uh, let's jump on in. And I'm just going to change this back to my base style. And I want you to open up style.css. And you're going to see tons of different CSS here. And let me refresh that to see what we're starting with. So this is just, again, it's all just cosmetic stuff. Nothing here really has anything to do uh, with the flex property, except that one shouldn't be in there. And uh, we're starting off with this. So we got the header, we've got, see this link is on one line, this is on another, and this is on a third. Uh, we got this content area. Here, let's look at the HTML while we do this. We got the app wrap, which is this sort of, this black thing that looks like a phone. We got the header, which is this big yellow part. We got the div of the class of content, which is the white. It's just got a whole bunch of content in there. Uh, and then we got this div with the class of an icon bar and inside of that I've just got a whole bunch of links inside of that we've got some text and we've got some font awesome icons which we're using so let's get started I'm gonna go through this um, kind of section by section just so that uh, we can understand what's going on Let's start with the overall layout. Let's start getting things so that it right now it's just spilling out. And that's because the app wrapper, where do we got it here? The app wrap, we've I put a width or a, sorry, a height of 90 VH on it, and that means it's 90% of the height of the browser. You'll see that it right here, it resizes, but the content doesn't come along with it. So let's get all of that fixed up and uh, and ready to go. So first thing we're going to do is select the app wrap and we're going to turn on Flexbox. Sorry, display flex. Give that a save. And when you refresh, woo, what's going on here? So it puts the navigation here, which would, would be interesting for some apps. I guess you could slide it out from the side. But this is kind of what we've been working with a lot so far. And it's not what we want for working with an app. We don't want to deal with rows. We want to deal with, or we don't want to deal with one row. We want to deal with multiple columns. So uh, the way that we change the axis, so the horizontal and the vertical axis, the main axis and the cross axis is we say flex direction column and that will stack them on top of each other okay so kind of back where we were uh, we got this we got that and we are there um, and then we also want to uh, set these items to both grow and shrink so I'm going to select all of the flex items in this case it's going to be the icon bar it's going to be the content and it's going to be the app header. So we'll say dot app dot wrap. I'll use a star selector to grab those. Uh, I'm going to say flex and I want it to grow one. I want it to shrink one. Essentially, that means just don't do anything. Stay as 
the size, and I'll tell you why that's important in just a second. And then finally, for the flex basis, how big it should be, I'm gonna say auto. And why am I gonna say auto? Because I want this header to take up as much room as it needs. Maybe it's gonna be more padding or less. I want this bar here to take up as much room as it needs. And then I want the rest of the content to be dedicated towards uh, this content area that we can scroll in there. So I'm gonna say auto, give that a save and refresh. And you'll notice that nothing really changed there. The height of this bar is being taken up by the link and the, the header and the other link. However, because we said auto, we're allowing the content to go as high as we want. And because we have scroll room, really we've got all the, all the room that we could want. So what we need to actually do is go to our content. So let's make a new section there. And we'll select it and say overflow y scroll. So we're essentially gonna be turning on the scroll for this one right here. And then when we refresh, interesting what happens, the header takes up as much room as it needs, the footer or the icon bar takes up as much room as it needs, and then the content just kinda get, takes the rest and because we've put scroll on it, it will just scroll for the rest. Uh, one other thing we need to put on there is WebKit, overflow scrolling and we'll say touch and what that will do is if you've ever been on a um a website on your phone and you try to go through a scrolling content area and it doesn't have that kind of flick to scroll the inertial scrolling that's because you haven't turned on overflow scrolling touch to it so if you test this out on your phone it will work great so now that we've got that that's great and you can see that like this is still huge but because uh, it's huge, it's gonna take up that room for now. We're gonna get it trimmed down much smaller in just a second. So that's the content. Um, I'm gonna go above that and we'll do the header now. And how should we best lay this out? If you, if you noticed before, we had the back button on the left, we had this H, what is that? An H1 on in the middle, and then we've got this cog icon on the right hand side. Now, previously this would have been done with floats or you maybe say like this one is 20%, this one is like 70% and you give each of them up to 100%. And thankfully we don't have to do that anymore. We have the control in Flexbox. So let's go ahead and select it, dot app header. And this app header is also going to be display flex. Why? Because we want the header to be flex and we want the link, the H1 and the other link to also be uh, flex items so we can easily put them to the left, to the right, in the middle. So display flex and now when we refresh that, look at what we got going on here. Uh, it puts them all on the same line. The H1 is no longer block-like where it takes up its own line. It's right in the line there. And then these icons, like what's going on with them? Why are they so big? Um, the reason behind that is because it's taking the height of this H1 and determining that that's the height and by default, these are gonna stretch. So we need to go ahead and change that. We'll say uh, align items center. And what that does is it's going to, remember we're on the flipped axis now, it's gonna vertically center them. So they're all center in there. And now we've got the issue where we've got this title, Flexbox app layout, and we need this to go to the right, this to go to the left. Uh, you might be thinking, yeah, just add a bunch of padding till it works out. But remember, this is we're not sure what the screen size is going to be. So we sort of need to account for all the different screen sizes, whether it be bigger or smaller. Um, and luckily for us, we have the justify content. And remember space between. What that will do is it will take the extra space, which is right here, and it's going to put it in between the elements. So how many in between elements do we have? Well, we got three elements, but we have two spots, one to the left of the F and one to the right of the T that it's going to divvy that space on up. So refresh. Oh yeah, looking real good. Pretty simple. If I go in here and I were to change this to West is cool, you know, it's much smaller, but it still works perfectly. No fiddling with floats and text align. It just works perfectly. Um, so that's good for that. We've got this part working and now really all we have left to do is this uh, icon bar here. So let's create ourselves a third section and call it the icon bar. 
And for the icon bar, it's going to be pretty simple. We'll grab that and we'll say display flex as well. And when that is flex, sorry, not icon, it's icon bar. When the icon bar is flex, all of these links, which are the immediate children, are going to become flex items. And they go right beside each other. Now we've got all this extra space right here. And what do we do? to spe specify the extra space while well, we apply a flex grow and a flex shrink on it. So we will go ahead and say icon bar A, select all the links, and we'll simply just say flex one. And then what that will do is it'll set a flex grow and a flex shrink of one, which means that uh, the extra space or when there's not enough space, they'll evenly get space or have it taken away from them. So refresh, ooh, very nice, right up and working. So Again, just a couple of lines of code, uh, understanding that this is the power of Flexbox. If I were to ever resize this thing horizontally or vertically, everything sort of just goes into place. So hopefully you like that one. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you soon.